Hey guys, today we're gonna go over how to check your skink's toes after a shed and get any extra shed that might be stuck on their little feet. How to get that off easily and what I do to make sure that my animal's shedding um, has gone well. Welcome to Reptile Mountain TV. I'm TC Houston, former professional zookeeper, lifelong reptile fanatic, and blue tongue skink breeder. And you're watching my reptile care series called How To. So usually what I do is after a skink has shed or started their shed, about three to four days post shed, or at least post initiation of the shed, um, I'll come in and check the animal um, more thoroughly to see whether or not the shed is taking, um, as in it's coming off okay. Um, because I don't want to hesitate and try and jump the gun when nature usually takes care of most everything. Um, but then around three to four days into it, that's when I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to pick up the little animal and actually let them run through my hands. And then I'm going to go over their feet to make sure there's no residual stuck shed. Um, shedding should not take more than four to five days tops. So anything that's on there post four to five days from the original beginning of the shed can be helped off gently by uh, by our hands if we need to. Sometimes you don't need to, even if you throw a little humid hide in there, that will work. And sometimes if they climb in that, it'll moisten it up and they'll be able to burrow a little bit better. Um, but you know, sometimes there's just a little piece of skin that's just not coming off um, for whatever reason and you just get to help it off gently. So here's how I check the feet. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is take your little baby and you support their little foot on the tip of your finger. If you can see that, you're giving the whole foot a support and it's sitting there and then you just gently sweep from the ankle out towards each toe and you can just kinda, of, if there's, see there's a little bit of looseness, you can gently pull on it, but you do not wanna pull hard. And so just gently, again, embrace the little foot with your finger and then kind of from the ankle towards the tip of the toe kind of smooth it out smooth it and then you can do a little rolling see how that rolling got a tiny little piece off right there a little bit of rolling will kind of break it up a little bit and you just want to feel gently um, anything that would be stuck on there and you do the same with the front feet and you can just check and get up close with it and sometimes you can use a little bit of moist, um, a little bit of water on your finger so you can moisten the top thumb or the finger that you're going over the top with. Um, you could do both if you wanted. And that helps the shed stick to your finger and kind of come off of the little animal's body. So, and then you can just let the animal, if there's anything else on the body, you just let them slide through your hand. And actually, as they are slipping and sliding through your hand, it'll actually just come off right in your hand just like that and then for the head sometimes the head gets a stuck shed and that happens most of the time with mine I just don't know why but I just take my thumb and I just slide it over the parietal eye and right off so the tip checking feet and getting an animal um, free of sh uh, shed is is really simple um, if you're gentle with your animal you're holding your animal and then you just as I showed just support the foot with a finger and then just gently wiggle it a little bit um, if you need to you can wet your thumb and it will help get um, and the skin to stick to your thumb and pull off of the animal gently you have to do it gently because I mean you could rip and hurt the animal so you you just softly and gently like I showed so hey guys thanks for watching uh, check out the other how-to videos there's gonna be actual uh, reptile mountain TV episodes as well coming up so I'm doing the how-to mini series um, and then I do my collection spotlights and then of course the regular episodes so we've got some regular episodes coming up as well and we are getting closer to that 1,000 subscriber mark and when we do I'm gonna be giving away some uh, some prizes to you guys for your loyalty and your support. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on another YouTube episode.